Welcome to another episode of Music Teacher Reviews, where I review a bunch of different music items from the internet to see if they're worth the purchase or not. My name is Zach Seckman. I'm a music school owner and teacher based out of Kansas. And today we're going to be reviewing uh, what is called the Portable Drumstick Head by Solo Music Company Limited. Um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you one of these here. Uh, they are um, little rubber kind of silicone tips that you put on your drumsticks that is supposed to help cut down the noise when you are playing drums. So they are kind of, they got the classic oval shape that you'd see on a lot of drumsticks. Let's see if maybe we can get that out of the light for you to see a little bit better. And it's got a ribbed texture. It's kind of got a rib, uh, ribbing on the side, I guess, to help um, make things a little quieter. Um, I've already been kind of playing with these and we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about the results here in a little bit. Um, so the package comes in a set of four um, and I purchased the package that's got orange and gray ones. So here's the orange, here's the grays. Um, come in a pack of four so you can put them on two pair of sticks. Um, and I bought that set because it was a dollar cheaper <laughs> online. So um, when you go to the website and I'll have the link for this uh, in the description below, uh, what this is called on Amazon is the four pieces drum mute drum dampener silicone drumstick silent practice tips percussion accessory mute replacement musical instruments accessory. Uh, they do have a wide variety of other colors so um, if if you find a color that matches your school colors, you can do that as well. Um, if you're looking to make your um, make your practicing or you're your playing a little, little bit softer so um, when I received the package it came in this little tiny box right here. And you can't really see it, but yeah, just that, just that little box with this little instructions page. And it's got two instructions here. Step one, see, there's the English. Step one, place it on the stick. Step two, push it down on the stick. Uh, so since there are four tips in this uh, box here, um, I grabbed four pair of sticks and we're gonna put them on uh, different types of sticks uh, with different heads so we can see how easy they are to put on and off. Um, and to, to kind, of, kind of compare. So we're gonna start with that here first. Um, so this is the one that I've been testing these uh, tips with. These are my uh, Buddy Rich uh, signature series from Vic Firth. I wanna put one of them on. And the tip, let me show that to you here real quick. It's kind of more of a, a rounded off tip. It doesn't have a, a separate, um, doesn't look like it has a separate uh, tip from the rest of the shaft, uh, but those are just easy to put on just like that. And it almost it almost reminds me of those like eraser toppers on pencil that that that's kind of what it reminds me of. So there it is on. It's a, gonna have to wiggle and shove. There you go. If you heard that pop, that's that's how it comes off. So I'm gonna put that back on because we're gonna play with it here a little bit. Uh, next, I've got another Vic Firth. I didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> I just have a lot of Vic Firth sticks. These are my Vic Firth uh, American Classic Seven A's. So. Um, it's kind of got a rounded tip, but the bottom is a little bit squared off. Uh, these, pretty easy to put on, easier to take off. That pop is really satisfying <laughs> if, you're, if you're into things like that. Next, I got, this is going to be um, interesting. These are Vic Firth American Custom SD1 Generals. So these have the ball tip on them. Uh, makes the rolling a little bit easier, but we'll see. So. Putting, putting one of these on, well, this, this will be interesting because it does not match the normal oval shape of a traditional drumstick or a standard drumstick. And this one's a little bit of a challenge to put on. There we go. Kind of, I don't want to say it fits like a glove because it doesn't. <laughs> uh, and then next, this one should be easier. This is my American Custom SD7 Whackers. Again, Vic Firth. Um, which, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Vic Firth or the solo music company <laughs> whatsoever. Um, so this one, fairly easy to put on. So let's go ahead. Let's take these off as well. So again, that, that satisfying pop there that we have. I made another pop when we put it back on. Uh, so here's the ball tip, the SD1 General. Kind of had to do a twisting motion to get that off, but. Um, we're going to put it back on so we can test it out <laughs> with the uh, drums here a little bit. It has a little bit of a space there at the top, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, so here is the seven A's. Easy to take off, 
easy to pop on. We already did that with the buddy wrench sticks here. So on my drum set here, this is a Pearl, which one is this? Pearl Export Series. Uh, I think this one was made in the 90s, maybe late 80s. Um, but I already have mutes on this drum because I'm in a music school. We need to keep the sound down. Um, and so um, I already have these blue circles on here. I actually got a uh, yoga mat and cut them down to size. And I, I, with the yoga mat, I was actually able to make two sets with my other drum set uh, in our other teaching room here. So I already have those mutes on there. They cut down the sound pretty well. Uh, the reason why I looked into these uh, tips, uh, stick tips, uh, is because I wanted to try something different, see if it would help cut down the sound a little bit more um, and things like that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna test out each of these sticks um, with both the non-tipped stick, so the one without the, the tip mute, um, and then one with the tip mute. So one without, one with. Um, uh, I'm also gonna try these out with the mutes on the instruments and the mutes out off the instrument there. So I'm gonna start off with my Buddy Rich sticks here. So I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna play uh, my crash, snare, a, a tom, and then my ride cymbal here. So here it is with the uh, non-tip stick. And then here it is off, off the mutes. So pretty loud already. Right. Now here it is with the uh, rubber tip on it, uh, which is what we're reviewing. Not, not too big of a difference in sound. That does kind of help the uh, cymbals here. It definitely cuts down when we when we try it on the yoga mat, the cut out yoga mat here. Okay, so there's off the off the mute there on the ride. That's probably not going to cut it. <laughs> That's probably not going to cut it on the uh, toms here. And then here is the snare, but that, that did not really cut down any of the sound here. So let's try it with the other sticks. Here's the seven A's, uh, which is actually what I use a lot of the time. Um, I'm in the school of thought that you use thinner sticks when you're on the drum set. Again, that's just personal preference here. So here it is without, without the stick or without the tip. And then here it is without the, so again, it's it's your it's your general playing without a mute the, on the uh, instruments. Change there. A little bit of a difference there. So really, so far these are these are affecting the cymbals more than they are the drums. Um, uh, let's move on to the SD1 Generals. Yep. Um, again, these have the ball tips on them and they don't quite fit the shape because again, the, the tips here um, that we're reviewing are oval shaped. These are rounded shaped. So there's virtually, so going back and forth like that on my snare, there's virtually no difference. Same thing there. Yeah, no difference there. Maybe a tiny bit of difference on the uh, toms here. Tiny, tiny. Okay. So a tiny bit of difference there with the uh, symbol. And then same thing here. These are my SD7 rockers that have an oval nylon tip on them. No change there. Use my Stephen script there. No change there. Tiny bit of difference there. Tiny bit of difference there. Big difference there. And barely any difference there. So again, those are four different types of sticks. Um, I do have other sticks that uh, we could try, but for the sake of time, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna um, not use those sticks. So, um, as a music teacher, as a drum teacher myself, I am kind of on the fence with these. 
Um, they may help dampen your sound a little bit. They don't really do a lot on the drums. They are more for cymbals. So if you need something that might be a little bit quieter on the cymbals, um, especially if you're using an acoustic kit like this, um, I would say go ahead and get them. Again, if, if, you're, if you're needing to kind of dampen the sound on the cymbals, um, they don't really have an effect on the drums. So if you're looking for something that you need to like mute or cut down the um, sound on your drum set as a whole, I would skip these. Um, but again, they do help just a tiny bit, um, especially with the mutes on the drum set. So if you already have a, uh, mutes, uh, mute set up on your drums, um, you could go ahead and get these. It won't make that big of, of a difference there, but, um, I will go ahead and link the, uh, product in, in the description so you can check them out and maybe purchase a set for yourself. Um, but I would say yes and no on these. You can avoid them depending on what you need them for. So we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but until then, this has been Music Teacher Reviews. We've been reviewing the, what are they called again? <laughs> Let me flip over to the English slide here. Portable Drumstick Head from Solo Music Company. So we will see you in the next video. Take care.